in the Zodiac clear water salt system. Made for a smaller pool, 20,000 gallons or less. This is a control via power center, and you can see it's pretty easy to read. We have the chlorinated output right there. It's got just a few buttons. It's very easy to operate. Okay, I have the cell covered with a bucket because it does have a slight defect. I'll show you right now. It tends to form cracks in this plastic. This is a second cell. This is about an eight-year-old unit, and the cell is four years old uh, because it cracks right here, the, the acrylic, so I cover it with a bucket. You can see the cell has a lot of buildup, and this one's real easy to clean. You just simply unscrew this, and it comes right off. Pretty easy. Make sure you have your safety gear. I use the gas mask with the acid and uh, safety glasses and gloves. Okay, so we sit in a bucket of water. I like to keep the wires out if possible, and I'm going to go ahead and pour some acid in there. Okay, I like to pour just enough acid to get it bubbling. I don't like to overdo it um, with the acid mixture because it damages the plates. Let me pour some in there, and let me see if this thing is going to start bubbling here. And I'll pour some more in there. I want to get it to where it starts to just bubble on there. And that's a good amount of acid right there. Let me give it just a little bit more. And I'm going to let this one, that's about a 1 6 mixture of acid to water. And you can see it gently starting to bubble now, and it's going to release all that calcium. Again, you don't want to overdo it with the acid because it damages the plates. You want that gentle bubbling thing going with the acid, that's why you gradually put it in there. And I'll come back, this one probably in about 20 minutes because it's pretty dirty. Again, that acid mixture is very important not to overdo it, you can see it's actually after about a minute, you can see it starting to bubble. And that's the kind of effect you want. If you get rapid bubbling, you have too much acid, add some more water, because it can really damage the salt cell. And of course, make sure that this is not going to come back. And I turned this time timer on purpose away from the off. Um, you don't want it to come back on while you're doing this, because water will just shoot out everywhere. Okay, it's been about, actually, uh, 35 minutes. This one was pretty dirty, so I let it soak longer. And it's pretty clean. I'm going to pull it out and rinse it off and reinsert it. Again, you can see that crack forming. That's what happened to the previous cell. It just forms cracks in this acrylic plastic here. Okay, as you can see, it's fairly clean. There's still a little bit of calcium on the back, but the plates are actually really clean. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on real quick. And check for any kind of leaks in the system. It feels bad. And it uh, looks good. There's no leaks here in the o ring so that's perfect. And um, it's going to be producing salt. Again, this is a really good system for a 20,000 gallon or less pool. And it's, this unit is 8 years old and it's still functioning. It just has that little bit of a cell defect. And one last thing about um, cleaning salt cells. You don't want to stick any kind of screwdriver or any kind of um, butter knife in there to get those calcium out of the plates. You'll ruin the system. So just let the acid do its work. And if it needs a second cleaning, wait about a month and do another cleaning.